So there's some things that I want to talk about. One of them is actually just following the crowd, thinking like a sheep, being the sheep or being a lion when it comes to investing, when it comes to stacking, when it comes to anything in life. I've been told a million times that these bills were a ripoff. That's because they assume that I'm paying a high premium because of fractional gold. Well, not everything's black or white. Not everything's 100%, 0%. I do believe in the color gray, do you? And with that being said, I just want to say, like, I've been following very little stacking advice, investing advice. I've just been following my own logic, knowing the logic, what makes sense to me might not make sense to other people. They might be smarter than me in an area, and what they're trying to tell me makes sense to them, but it's not making full sense to me. But saying, oh, only buy bullion, only buy coins or something like that, I'm not into the bars, that's fine for you, If it all depends on where you want to go, but for someone who wants to stack, he wants to accumulate weight, he wants to get as much weight as possible, really, that's what it's all about, I want to be, I'm ambitious, I want to thrive, I'm only 26, I'm a millennial, right at the end of the millennials, and I want to move forward in life, I don't want to be complaining about wealth inequality and stuff like that. I want to I want to be complaining about the these ladders of opportunity. I want to be climbing them. I want to be in charge of my destiny, let's say. And instead of following the path that others have followed, the written path, that path is not for me and I fully understand that and I fully embrace that. And I might be going down a different path than a lot of you guys with the stacking, and I encourage you to just do whatever makes sense to you. If going for the lowest spread on your pieces, make going for the one ounce maples to keep that spread down and everything like that, go for it if that's the best way for you. If you need to just, if you spend money, you can't save up to get the full ounce. That'll take too long. Who knows what the price of gold will be by then. Get the 10th ounce if that's what makes sense to you. Following the crowd, following the herd, only leads to disaster. I've never heard of anyone saying, most people see the, all this super fractional gold here. Well, guess what? That was, that was the best, cheapest buy I could find. Right now I have people wanting to buy these for over double what I paid for them. Just saying. I've got people wanting to pay over 15 bucks a pop for these. Big difference, but I should never have bought that before though, right? This is just all these things, you gotta go for at least a quarter ounce and everything. Not everyone says that, don't think that I'm trying to say, but this is something, this is information that has been repeated time and time again in the stacking community here on YouTube. You know what else has been? said oh you should own you should go for the lowest premium stuff well I'm like I find it funny because I'm flipping stuff below spot price for the cash flow behind physical gold pull out the gems or whatever this is a piece that I'm gonna try to sell as jewelry obviously I am going to be ordering the three missing diamonds replace them and then that's a completed piece sell it and but you're thinking you're buying these things for com less than the commodity value what could go wrong if it's about the spreads and everything like that who cares it's a lower spread than buying a one ounce maple you're buying fractional gold this is buying like Basically like a gram of gold at spot price. Or less, actually. Hard to turn that down. I just think it's crazy though, how people will say, well, well what are you gonna get for it? Nobody's gonna give you the melt value back for your pesos. That's what I have in here. Gold pesos, dosa medio. Nobody's gonna be giving me, uh, they're gonna give me less than melt value for that. But guess what else I'm able to get? I'm able to get 
more, a higher percentage of uh, melt value taking this and flipping it just at my LCS or whatever, if it'll want to actually focus for you guys, but yeah, I could, either ways, hopefully you trust me, but this is, <laughs> this is a dose of medio peso, and I could get less taking this back in, compared to spot price, than if I were to take these, and just take them in and sell it, they're both treated like scrap gold, but this, It'll give me a, I'll get slightly higher, about a percent higher compared to Spot. Just because he could actually resell these at a premium. Or if not, he just goes and scraps it, whatever. And this, he knows that this is going to be melted down. This is not a high demand item, these pesos. They really are not a high demand item. To him, he's just gonna melt him down. He might keep a couple in stock, but other than that, he's not gonna be keeping 20, 30 dosa medio pesos in stock. He's gonna keep five, maybe ten maximum, and then he's gonna scrap the rest. That's just what kind of what happens. And that's just a bit of an update on my thoughts and opinions on stacking gold, silver, whatever it may be. I love to know all of your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. I'd love to know. Join the Beaver Dam fam. Like and subscribe with all notifications on. Stay positive. See you next time. Thanks.